In the previous video, we saw that it was possible to add modifiers to styles. We also saw that it was possible to modify their opacity and blending modes. Opacity, blending modes, and the ability to enable or disable styles can be found under Options. These three controls are replicated here in this Options section, but they're connected to these three controllers located on the style line. So you don't have to unfold the Options section to modify these parameters. One reason you might need to do that is to animate these parameters since you can't animate them using the main line. Blending modes define the way styles are blended together. If we add a stroke style, increase the stroke width, and switch it to outside mode, it'll be placed over the fill style. Then we can change the way these two elements are merged. To demonstrate this more clearly, let's add a gradient to the fill like we did earlier. Then change its type from linear to angle. This will generate a gradient that goes around clockwise. Now let's access the gradient editor to change the two colors that make up the gradient to red on one side and blue on the other. Let's move up in the menu hierarchy to access the stroke, change its color to green, and modify its blending mode to see the results of the different types of blending modes. Keep in mind that the different styles will be piled on top of each other, like with a stack of layers. The difference, though, is that the shapes generator has a list of actions executed one after the other, red from top to bottom. The first will generate the fill, and the second will generate the stroke, and will pile it on top of the fill. Then we can reorder the styles. In this video, we went over how to change a style's blending mode, change its opacity, and enable or disable styles.